Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon XG Next Gen. I have finally managed to tear myself away from Hyrule Warriors just long enough to come and record this. So, I got everyone up to level 48, except for the Shadows, obviously, and I got Bayloon to 47. He's, like, almost 48. He'll level up as soon as a Pokemon goes down from Gorgon's team. We're gonna be fighting Gorgon today, and I've heard it's not going to be fun. I'm going to hate it. I don't know why I'm saving again. But, uh, it's not gonna be an enjoyable time, apparently, so let's see how it goes, because taking him down is all we have to do to finish off the Cypher Key Lair. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? Nice desk you got here. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out, every last one? Impossible. One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made. Ah! In wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. Oh, he's mad. Why? This guy could just, like, punch me in the... If he, like, winds up a good sucker punch right into my solar plexus and I'm dead. He's gonna break my collarbone. You've done it now. I'm steaming mad and there's no forgiving that. Ever. Be prepared to drop. Let's go, Gorgon. He also has a wrench. He could just beat me with the wrench. Cacturn and Steelix. Okay. Not so much of a threat so far. Hopefully neither of these are shadows because I can easily dispatch them. Ah, rip. Don't be the Cacturn. Okay. Steelix is pretty easy to work with. Level 50, excuse me? Level 55, game, are you okay? Steelix is gonna chew this E wave. Cacturn chewed that mock punch. Ah, oh, thank goodness Raiju is still faster. Level 55? This is not okay. That's more than just a level jump, that's like a level leap. The next thing I need to do is spore the Steelix, depending on what the next Pokemon he sends out is. My Shadows are level 43, they're gonna get decimated. Shadow Fear? Does this, like, prevent me from escaping? Oh, it just paralyzes me. Flat out. That's an Aerodactyl. It's not a Shadow Aerodactyl, unfort. Uh, I'm gonna go for Spore on the Steelix. I am going to click Discharge. I think it's just objectively the right play. Bayloom is probably dead. Bayloom is definitely dead. I don't know why I said probably. Probably. I know how words work, I swear. Alright, well now Discharge won't hit any of my Pokemon, so that's good. Kinda. Para, 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 para. There is no justice in this world. Shadow Hunter. Oh no. Ah, easy dodge. Okay. This is bad. So I'm going to Shadow Snooze the Steelix and then HP Ice will kill the Aerodactyl from here. I should have thought this through because you're probably gonna like Oko Gengar. Yep, okay. It's gonna be one of those battles. I might have to kill a Shadow or two. I don't want to do that, but it might be necessary. I do love Aerodactyl's fainting animation. Miss again. Ah, oh, well, I guess I was asking too much. Didn't do too much damage, all things considered. Uh... The Nagisa. How am I gonna do this? That's a Clay Doll. That's a Shadow Clay Doll. I think I Heat Wave Hyper Voice here, judging from how much damage Heat Wave had done before. I'm really mad that you have Sand Stream. I can't para any of them. Yeah, I think I Heat Wave Hyper Voice is the right play to get them both really low. And then I might have to start using some revives for Gengar. That was a crit, by the way. You see that damage? Okay, yeah, cool. That's the game we're playing. Thank you for missing. This is really where I'm gonna get some damage on Clay Doll. Never mind, it's gonna do nothing. This Clay Doll is made of, like, pure steel. Despite there being a Steelix right there. Stop paralyzing my Pokemon. How dare you paralyze my electric type? That's not supposed to be possible in Gen 7 mechanics. Whatever. 
I'm just gonna do this again. That is unfortunate that you've decided to guard. I wish you hadn't. Because I'm really not gonna do much to this clay doll. At least I know Shadow Madness can only do half. And he hit Raiju, which is perfect. Alright, I am getting them low, if nothing else. One more Hyper Voice and the Clay Doll is in the yellow. And the Steelix actually will probably as well. I'm really mad that that happened. This Sand Stream should only last like two more turns, I think. Something like that. Let's Hyper Voice again, and then I'm going to use Raiju's turn to get Gengar back up. Even though he's lower leveled, I need the Shadow Snooze. Ah, nice, he failed. And you just keep using Shadow Madness, which can't actually kill anyone, which is good. And you keep hitting Raiju. I think Raiju will die to, uh... He'll die to Sandstorm now. But it is what it is. Claydol is nice and low. Steelix is nice and low. I just gotta get some Shadow Snoozes off. Raiju, you did very well, my friend. Good job. You've definitely put in the most work so far. Alright, get Gengar back out here. And I think I'm even gonna use Gardevoir's turn to heal Gengar, because I think if they double attack Gengar, they can probably kill him. And I need that to not happen. I don't have any super potions, I don't think, but I have plenty of hyper. That's good. Let's uh, Shadow Snooze. Who's more of a threat? The Clay Doll just keeps spamming Shadow Madness, so I think the Steelix is the bigger threat, because it has Shadow Hunter. There goes half of Nagisa's HP. Plus, Gengar will outspeed the, uh... Oh, come on! Outspeed the Steelix. Don't hit Gengar. Thank you. It's really all I needed was for Gengar to not be paralyzed. Can this Sandstorm, uh, words end already, please? I'm gonna get this Steelix to sleep. Oh, my word. I'll never get this Steelix to go to sleep at this rate. Please be like Spiky Shield, where status moves will still hit you. Easy dodge. Dang it. Oh, come on! I don't have time for this, Gengar! Like, seriously. First you miss, then you hit a protected one and snooze. Or, uh, go into rage mode. I'm gonna try and just flat out catch the play doll. And I'm not going to call Gengar out just yet. I am going to use uh, Shadow Snooze again. This Steelix has got to go to sleep. I think I just have 20 Ultra Balls. Fingers crossed this works. It's only level 50. That's not a very high level. Stay in there. Oh, come on. The worst part about this is that once I catch one of them, that means another Pokemon is coming out that I'm not ready for. Stop spamming! I'm holding L2. Great. Shadow Terrain. That's actually a nightmare. Because now they're getting healed for doing nothing. Claydol can definitely live a Hyper Voice now. Uh, I'm going to Shadow Snooze the Steelix again. Stop! Stop! This is getting stupid. Yeah, you deserve to miss. Finally, a hit. Okay, the Steelix is asleep. I need to catch it before it wakes up. And now I'm gonna set this Clay Doll to sleep, too. Oh my goodness, how much does Shadow Terrain heal? That looks like a lot. Stupid rage mode. Please, oh please. We've been in turn for a long while. I could probably use a timer ball or two, which I only have two, so you know. Steelix is higher leveled and has more HP. It's going to be harder to catch. But if I can get it, then that clay doll should be no problem. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. That's one down. He's got three Pokemon left, including the Clay Doll, because I already beat Aerodactyl and whatever the other thing was. There's another Pokemon he had that I took out. I can't remember it. Please stop missing literally every other Shadow Snooze. I've missed two. 
three technically because I let used one on a protect. Is this Shadow Sand Slash? It's not Alolan Sand Slash. It's not Shadow either. Okay. Uh, Hyper Voice again in that case, and then Shadow Snooze this stupid play doll. By all means, keep spamming it since you've already used it once. That is gonna take out Nagisa 100%. Yep. Rip. Please, oh please, hit the Shadow Snooze. Snooze, snooze words. It has a life orb, really? Oh, thank you. Okay. It's still in the yellow. I should be able to catch it from there. Hopefully. Who do I want to send out? I guess Tiamat because he chews moves for days. I just need to catch this clay doll. If I can catch it right here, we will be in a fantastic spot. And then I will shadow soul on the sand slash. Hopefully my rage mode will let me get a crit. I guess I could have called Gengar out of rage mode there, but with shadow train up, I don't think it's a big deal. Especially since Gengar uses shadow soul. Alright, thank goodness. He should have one more shadow. If I could kill, or at least get the sand slash really low right here, that would be fantastic. Because then we would be in a great spot being up against just the shadow. This is great. Alright, well this Gorgon fight was definitely not easy, and it's not over yet, I'm talking like it's over. It's definitely not easy, but it's not super difficult. The Pokemon are ridiculously high leveled, but we're managing. Regirock! Regirock?! This man has a Regirock. This Regirock is level 53. What am I supposed to hit this thing with? Dragon Breath, I guess? And then Shadow Snooze it? No Shadow attacks for you, just go straight to sleep. This guy has a Shadow Reggie Rock. I did not okay this. Where's Shadow Regice and uh, Reggie Steel? Where are they at? Is the Shadow Train still in play? No, it's gone. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna use every single one of Tiamat's turns to throw a Pokeball at this thing, and then Gengar is gonna Shadow Madness. Regirock, I just need you to get this Ultra Ball, my dude. Just make this easy on everyone involved. You're asleep. You're a shadow. I don't know if being a shadow makes it easier to catch you at all. Alright, well that was actually no problem at all. It was about the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Very nice. We've done it! That was- that- Regirock was so anticlimactic. Climactic words. Ah! All right, no problem. We've done it. We have our first legendary. Yeah, that's it. You're not getting away with this. No way, no how, no ifs or buts. I'm not taking this. I'll blow up the factory with you in it. Ah! It's Master Grievel. Gorgon, that is quite enough. Except that you have lost. M Master Grievel. Oh ho ho, we meet again. You do remember me, don't you? Yes, indeed. I am Mr. Varric. Or perhaps I should say Grievel, the Grand Master of Cypher. I must say I am a taken aback. I never once imagined that you would destroy our facility or factory, I wanted to say facility. But that's not important. Even though the mass output of Shadow Pokemon is ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We have already completed XGO01's final tuning. It now rests with me. XGO01? The ultimate Shadow Pokemon that's resistant to purification? Now I shall prepare our final plan to activate XG001. Do you honestly think you can stop me? I shall be at Cypher's HQ. It is on Citadel Dark Isle, off the coast of Gadian Port. It is an impregnable fortress that repels all with cruel waves and thick clouds. No one can reach it. Come if you dare. I'll enjoy waiting for you. Ha 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 ha! Master Grievel has such a wicked sense of humor. No ordinary ship can get close because of the rough seas. And even if you do manage to get on the island, the place will be swarming with trainers carrying the Shadow Pokemon I made. Even though there should be a lot more Shadow Pokemon. If XGO01 didn't drop that ship in the desert, we wouldn't have taken so long uh, tuning the Shadow Pokemon. 
Yeah, haha, but it doesn't matter. There will, there's still plenty of Shadow Pokemon to welcome you in style. I can read, I swear. How many are there? <laughs> I can't tell you that. If I did it, it'd floor you. It's just a matter of time before the world belongs to us. You'd better be ready for it. Is this the tracking thing? A list of manufactured Shadow Pokemon. Fantastic. Let's take a look at that right now. Shadow Monitor. Bum 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 bum. Ludicolo, which we didn't catch. This does look like it's updated correctly. With the stuff that the, uh... Whatchamacallit, the... The guy added. Politoid, uh, Politoid, Politoid and Cloyster. So, Mirror B has Shadow Ludicolo, and he has Shadow Ninetales, Politoed, Cloyster, uh, Shadow Weezing. We're almost caught up to where we just were, what we just caught. Oh my goodness, so many shadows that I have in the PC. There are some Pokemon in PC too now. He has Shadow Fortress. Okay, so Mirror B has about five shadows. That's not too bad, as long as I don't let him get any more. Needle King, Hitmonchan, Gyarados, Crawdont, Scizor, Altaria, Melodic, Snorlax, Alakazam, Waylord, Skarmory, Tyranitar, Kingdra, Kyogre? Kyogre? Excuse me? There's Registeel and Regiice, and Groudon! <laughs> this is not okay! Moltres, Lugia, Rayquaza? It's like actually over. <laughs> How am I going to catch some of these things? Latias and Latios! Someone stop! Hello! I gotta go get this stupid Togepi at some point. Oh my goodness. This is horrible. Here's just a bunch of trash. Okay. I didn't... I wasn't counting how many there are, but there are clearly a lot. We still have plenty to catch. And a lot of legends to catch, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh my goodness. I think we've caught a little over half, though, it looks like. So there are probably about 110, somewhere around there. I look forward to catching Shadow Rayquaza, I can tell you that much. I love Rayquaza. It's my favorite legendary. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go ahead and... I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and get out of here before I wrap up for today. I mean, I still got, like, about 13 minutes. So we'll find something to do. Go talk to anyone who's like, hey, come talk to me. Oh, we'll go mess around in the purification chamber. That'll probably take a good five to ten minutes on its own. Because we need to purify stuff, set up more sets, and uh, get other stuff in there. We're going to be catching a ton of Pokemon from Sid of Dark Isle. Oh, we need to go purify Gengar, too. I don't think Charizard is quite ready yet. By the way, looking at the Shadow Monitor, I would love to have uh, Shadow Crawdont. As our water type, that also give us a dark type. I think I might do that. Because it looks like he's early on in Sid of Dark Isle. Yeah. I mean, if I don't take Crawdont, I definitely want Melodic. Either or would be fantastic. Gyarados is also pretty good, but I like Crawdont and Melodic more than Gyarados. It looks like Altaria and uh, Melodic are probably Lavrina's Pokemon. I would bet I would bet on that. So we could we could take the Armaldo like I wanted and take uh No, just the Armaldo. And that would be our eleventh Pokemon, and then we could take Crawdont or Melodic. Either or. You guys let me know in the comments which would you rather see me use, Crawdont or Melodic? Cause I love them both. Roar! Oh dear. I definitely think that probably, objectively speaking, Melodic is the better choice because it's nice and bulky but also has good spit attack, whereas Crawdont has really good fizz attack but is super frail. But I'm still open to using Crawdont because I love him. He's super frail and slow. I think that was a Raikou. What? A Raikou? I thought you were supposed to tell me about... I'm not lying, I swear I saw it. It ran away, but maybe it will probably return soon. I wonder if the other two legendary beasts are around or too. He was supposed to tell me about uh, Mirror B stealing a Pokemon. I wonder if he really saw a legendary Pokemon. They rarely stay still, so they're hard to catch, but maybe if you come back later. Nah, forget it. A little kid like you can't catch a legendary. I've already caught a legendary from your boss. That's weird that they don't talk about Mirror B. Is there no final battle with Mirror B in this version of the game? That'd be weird. You're supposed to, when you catch every single shadow in the game except for one, you're supposed to go to 
the lighthouse in Gishian Port, and Mirror B will fight you with a Shadow Dragonite that's like level 55. Which is the final shadow in the game. Well, alright then. We are going to need so many Pokeballs. It's not even funny. There are so many shadows to catch. I might have to find a way to, like, grind money up off screen. Because we need it badly. What the heck? I did sell those uh, PP ups to get. Yeah, so we're pretty good on cash right now. Uh, I definitely want some timer balls. Give me, like, 13 of those. And then I kid you not, I'm just going to, like, dump all of my money into Ultra Balls. Like, we're going to use all of these, or at least mostly all of them. Like, guaranteed. One day I'll come back and get the Shadow Togepi. Probably when we're close to getting all of the Shadows in the game. It'll be like, ah, oh, well, I have to go get it because it's one of the last ones. The game didn't tell me where to go next, did it? I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Probably Gadian Port. But for now, we're going to do some purification. And then I'll probably wrap up, even if I end up ramping up a little earlier than normal, because uh, I want to do Mount Battle stuff next time. So this would be a good spot to stop and then go and focus on that next time. We need to get through Area 5, which is level 45s, and then I also want to go through Area 6, because they're level 50s. And apparently we need to be, like, level 55 and stuff right now, so I might need to go ahead and go through Area 7, just to get the experience. Moonblast on Nidoqueen? That's great. And Nasty Plot. Man, now I kind of want to use this Nidoqueen. This thing is OP. I did not mean to say I wanted to nickname you. Those moves are fantastic. We have five perfect sets. With the amount of Pokemon I just got, I should be able to make one more perfect set. Hopefully. At least one. Ideally two, but at least one. We need to get close to having all nine. Like, ideally we would be at seven right now, I think. Which I'm going to try and get to seven by uh, using the Pokemon that we've just pure The five that we're purifying here. But now that we're moving into Cinder Dark Isle, we're going to be catching... I keep doing that. We're going to be catching so many shadows that I really need to, uh... I really need to... Words. I really need to have as many purification chambers as I can to get them done in a timely manner. Because I want to purify every single shadow Pokemon in this playthrough, too. So I don't want to get to a point where the playthrough is just... Hey guys, it's three videos in a row of me, like, getting Pokemon Shadow Gauge down and then purifying them. Because that would be lame. Did this thing just learn Flamethrower? That's not a move you're supposed to be able to learn, I'm pretty certain. Can Ampharos learn Flamethrower? I did it again. I'm pretty sure it can't. I can't ever recall seeing an Ampharos or a Mega Ampharos going for Flamethrower. But I could be wrong. I know it can learn Fire Punch. Because back in Gen 2, I would teach it Fire Punch. Don't think you can get Flamethrower, though, normally. I might just be remembering wrong. Alright. Absol is done as well. I think it just got Extreme Speed, which is pretty sick. Hyper Beam, which is dumb. Hone Claws, which is great. No. Got it that time. One more. Walrein, my boy. It takes so long to sit through these purifications. I might hyperspeed future purifications. I know I did hyperspeed that one time on purifications. Since we've seen it so much. But I would rather watch them through. But sometimes it's just too tedious. Whatever. Aurora Veil. That's the, uh... That's the Reflect Light Screen move that only works in Hail, isn't it? That's actually really good, since Walrein has Snow Warning. Alright, now we need to put more Shadows in, like Regirock. I'm gonna try and get Regirock purified, like, immediately. Uh... Not there. Yeah, that one. Alright, Regirock, where are you at? I have so many Pokémon. There you are. Shadow Armor? That's probably something like Shadow Pokemon's defense is stupid. I would guess. There you go. Good, easy flow for Regirock. 
Let's focus on getting shadows in. I'm gonna take all these new big shadows that we have. I was a steel type here. Try and get extra flow if I can. You can right here, I think. Yeah. All right. All these dual types are also really good for getting more, uh, whatever it is. It's not gonna work. Why am I not getting, oh, grass, grass, yeah. There we go, perfect. All of this flow. Or a filter. Makes super effective moves less effective. More flow for you as well. This is going fantastic so far. Uh, who else, who else? Agron. No, there's a steel type in the last one. Is there a poison type in the, la in the first one? No, perfect. All right, we got the flow up on all of them. That's great. Now, I need to make another thing here. Needle Queen probably will definitely work. Uh, and the Needle Queen can beat you. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, wait a minute. Can I do this with Walrein and Ampharos? No, not quite. Because Houndoom doesn't beat. Wait a minute. No, I just did the same thing. The only thing that can beat Poisoning Ground is Ice Water. So Ice Water has to go into Poison Ground. I wish I had Cradilly. Cradilly going right where Ampharos was would work perfectly. Uh, I don't think there's a way I can do it with these four. I might be blind like I was before. So let's see, Electric Dragon has to hit Water Ice. And Water Ice has to hit Poison. But then Dark Fire can't beat Electric Dragon. Because Ground has to hit Electric. Yeah, is there another Pokemon I can substitute in here that would make the difference? Maybe. Fighting? Would Fighting make the difference here? No. Because there's got to be something that Ground and Poison can beat. flying make a difference anywhere in here? No. Dang it. I could just leave this one like this until I get Cradilly, because I know Cradilly going right there will fix it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. This is a nearly perfect set. And it'll be perfect once I get Cradilly, because he's rock grass. So, I put him right here, and then ground beats... Well, I, I just need a rock, actually. Ground will beat rock, and then rock will beat fire. Do I have any rocks available? I don't think so, because I just caught a bunch of rock types. Yeah, so like Regirock will work. Regirock or Cradilly, either or. So I just have to wait until I get a rock, so that's what I'm going to do. There might be a way to do this correctly with one of the Pokemon I have now. I'm sure there is, but I'm not even going to think about it, because this just makes it easier on me. Uh, we need... Ideally, I need this seventh set ready to go as well. Put you in here, and then get Hitmonlee in here. And see what we can maybe do with that. Something that's weak to dark or fighting. Normal, but normal is bad to use because it can only super affect itself. So it just gets really annoying. And it messes up flow opportunities entirely. Uh, Lapras can go in here and be beaten by fighting. So something that beats dark and beats... Nah, but then water doesn't beat dark. That's not going to work. I ideally need a Psychic type. Do I have any Psychics available right now? Not right now. I don't have any available Grasses either, because then I could just go like Electric Fire. No, that wouldn't be... That, that wouldn't work either. Oh my goodness. I don't think I have a very good combination of Pokemon to be able to do this right now. Da 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 da. You know what I could do is, uh, if I take you, I could do this. Take you out, and then grab a water type. Put you there, and then if I take, whoops. No, I didn't mean to, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. And then I take you, and put you there. No, because fire doesn't beat ground. Rip. 
It was a thought. I still just need a rock type right here. I don't have any Pokemon available that fire beats other than Pokemon in my main party. I, I need a grass type. I need more grass types. This is the only one I have, really? How many rock type or grass types am I using in these? One. Wow, the game is not giving. I have two grass types in my party, though. The game is not giving me a whole lot of uh, grass to work with. All right, well we're getting Venusaur underway at least. And then I'm just gonna throw a random Pokemon in here, Sableye. Why not? And then that way we this is almost full, so we can have something be purifying here. Uh. What would be a good type that I'd want? Probably Aggron, because Steel and Rock. Alright, well, they're all underway, so it'll just take a little while. We have seven going. Five are perfect, two are not. The sixth one here, this one will be perfect as soon as I get a Rock type. And then I'll also have my Electric Dragon Ampharos back to move around and put somewhere else. But alright. So we basically have six, just as soon as I get Regirock or one of, or Cradilly purified. Cradilly is grass. I need more grass types, like Venusaur and Cradilly, so I'll definitely use Regirock here, so I don't waste another grass here. And then I'll have more grass to use for set seven and eight. But uh, we'll get seven, eight, nine all done and filled out not long after we're in Citadark Isle. After we catch just the first, like, three or four trainers worth of Pokemon in Citadark Isle, we should be able to get all of the perfect things we need. I'm already over half an hour, but I do want to go purify Gengar. Let's go do that really quickly. I'm going to hyperspeed to get to, uh, get to Agate. I like to use Agate to purify my team members, since all the other shadows are getting purified in the purification chamber. Hyperspeed, how I love thee. Go, 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 go. Purify my Gengar. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to purify Gengar because I don't have a name for it. So, uh, how close is Charizard to being purified? Basically there. Alright, so I need nicknames for Gengar and Charizard. It's been a long time since we've been able to do this, but I almost forgot I let you guys nickname the Pokemon. Other than, I think I nicknamed Koji and Sax. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to save the game and wrap up here. We have 61 shadows, 20 to purify as of now, but there are, like, a little over 100 in the game total, it seems. Or just under 100, if nothing else. So, yeah, you guys, give me name suggestions for Gengar and Charizard. Both of them need to be purified. Also, let me know if you'd rather see me use Melodic or Crawdont. Because probably one of those two is going to end up being our water type for the game. I'm getting my water type in Citadark Isle. That's so late. But, uh, yeah. I love both of them. I'd be fine using either. I do think Melodic is probably the objectively better choice. But I do also really like Crawdont. So I'm leaving it up to you guys. So let me know which one of those two you want to see. And also give me nickname suggestions for Gengar and Charizard. Because uh, Gengar will be purified at the start of next session, obviously. And then I'll be using Charizard to go through Mount Battle Area 5. So he will be ready to purify by the time we get through that. Definitely. I think that's everything. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time for Mount Battle Area 5. And then we'll probably do 6 immediately after. But we'll see how it goes. And until then... Farewell.